Hi Taurus, welcome back. Welcome back to your channel, honey. It's always a blessing to have you guys back here. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning to your channel, welcome back. You know your diamond shine bright like a diamond. We're going to get into a quick prayer, y'all. We're just going to jump in right into your overall read, okay? Um, Let's pray and then let's see what angels have for you today. And this reading is for Taurus. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask that you send your blessings upon myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Taurus, this is a general reading, not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. You can pick up your person's energy, past, present, or future person. Even for the cross watchers who are watching, this one could be for you as well. And if you do need to have a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys in the description part of this video to make an appointment for a personal reading. I'm doing a special at this present moment. The special is ending uh, May 31st. Okay. So go ahead and make your appointment, my darlings. Alrighty. All right, angels, what's the message here? What is it that you need me to share with Taurus today? My Taurians. What is the message for Taurus at this time, angels? What's the message for Taurus at this time, please? What's the message for Taurus at this time? What is the message for Taurus at this time? The message for Taurus at this time. All right, so Taurus, I'm getting cold as ice here. Cold as ice and unfinished business. I feel like for some of you guys, you're connected into a situation here where you're either feeling that this person is cold as ice towards you, or this could be you do be you towards them. Okay. Just know that the roles could be reversed because it is a general reading, not a personal one. So take it as it suits you. But there's a feeling of being really cold here. Now, even though your situation is coming towards you as cold at times, I do feel like you still have to be connected to this entire circumstances because I feel like you guys do have some kind of an unfinished business here. Just know that if you guys are in separation, even if you're not, you're really feeling like your situation feels like there could be more. There's something coming in here that you're either needing more than wanting. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. I have to take a quick break. All right, so unfortunately, even though your situation is coming in as cold as ice, um, there's still a need to be attached because you guys have a connection of some sort, okay? A connection that feels like really unfinished. Let me go ahead and clarify your messages, Taurus. All right, angels, please clarify these messages for my Taurians, such as myself. Angels, please clarify these messages for Taurus, please, such as myself. What do I need to share with Taurus, please? Okay, what's the message at this time? What is the message, angels? What's the message for Taurus at this time? All right, Taurus. Okay. So we have the three of wands here. The three of wands. The three of wands, the magician in the reverse. And the ten of swords. Wow. So there's something that feels more along this in here. Um, if your person has not moved away, then this could be you re rethinking maybe your options of a relocation here. Um, a decision is trying to be made here based on what is needed at in your life at this present moment, the three of wands, okay? A decision needs to be made here. Someone is trying to um, separate themselves from a feeling or an emotion here that is cold. Uh, but because there's unfinished business, like I explained before, someone is having to choose here. Um, they're night, night, or day. But with the magician also being here, the three 
um, the Three of Wands, the Magician, and the Ten of Swords. There's a, a feeling of sadness. Um, for some of you, a feeling of a mental breakdown based on your situation, what you're dealing with, because what you're really dealing with is something that feels more destructive here. Um, very destructive, okay? I'm hearing, uh, for some of you, you might have been hurt by your situation here. Um, oh, for some of you, you might have even feel like this person might have used you. Um, this person might have been sleeping with other people because I'm feeling like, you know, they might have either thought that they might have had an STD or this could be you that might have thought that they might have given you something in the past. But there's a feeling of feeling really betrayed here, okay, um, and hurt. Um, a lot of sadness. You're very sad. A lot of sadness. Clarify the Ten of Swords, please. Yeah, someone is definitely broke. Um, they're either broke in the pocket or they broke your heart. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not manifesting anything at this point, okay? Besides causing heartache and pain. Tell me more. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. The, the, in the reverse. They put an end to something here, okay? Um, you just gonna have to fix what you can. Fix up these loose ends here. There's a lot of things that is loose, very loose. Um, somebody's being very destructive here. The lovers card here, um, and having you have to try to figure out things more than you really should here. There's a lot of toxicity that is coming through here. This could be something that they might have also connected with an energy outside of yours. The Five of Pentacles. There you go. There it is right there. Okay? This person's definitely dealing with a third party situation. That is why they're so cold as ice. Um, not only are they dealing with a situation, but they might have left you in financial hardship here because the Nine of Pentacles did show up. And this could also resonate to what you're going through as far as financially. But you're having to really fend for yourself here. Because this person might have left you with a lot of financial burden um, to take care of on, on your own. But what I do see for some of you though, um, Taurus, because you're strong people. You're all about life. You're all about um, being settled. You're all about being stable. You're all about um, a structure. This is what Taurin does. <laughs> okay? Because I'm one, honey. All right, we're all about home and making sure that everybody's good, making sure that you're good. You're all about your pockets, your change. You don't like to be broke, okay? We don't like to be broke. And I see you picking up these pieces, and this is where I see you making a decision here with this three of wands. You're going to do it. You're going to be okay, honey, okay? All right, this is going to be your read um, for today. I'm going to leave it one here, this one here, okay? Just stay tuned for your next one that's coming really soon. Um, If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you do need one. Um, also pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and always find. Bye guys.